Steve, how are you, brother? Good, Scotty. How are you? Very good. Thanks for coming out. Thank you for having me. Tell me what you brought. This is a 1973 Trans Am, Firebird Trans Am, with a Super Duty motor, one of 252 built. Holy cow, 73, yes. I think made a 74, they made 900 and some, and that just sold for 100 grand. Yes. And this is like 25% of that amount. What'd you pay for it, Steve? 52 and a half straight out. Back in 73. 73. You bought this car brand new. Yes, I did. Did you go in and knowing you wanted that, or was it just like you wanted a Trans Am and that was the hottest one I'll take in? I did. I had a 71 that I had put a Chevrolet motor in, LS6, and uh, I had that sold, and, I, and the guy that bought it waited uh, for this car to come in so I could not be without a car. Right. Oh, I see what you're saying. Before yeah. you can have this one, I got to get my new one in. Yes. No, that's cool. Now, it, you put the different stripe on it. Originally, it would have had a bird, you were saying, right? Yes. Uh, I always liked the 70 through 72 stripes, and it came with the big bird on the hood. So, uh, four years ago, when we painted it, we did a restoration on it, and it didn't really need any, you know, any body work, because I've taken care of it all those years, but I decided to go with the stripes, because I like them. And, and you it's painted easily them easily reversible. No, those are the, the decals. Uh, decals. Done, done the way it was. Yep. Did you do all the work yourself? No, sir. A fellow in uh, Roanoke, Indiana did the paint work on it. Oh, they did a nice job. And you, but you left everything the way that it was. It's, uh, it's got a five-speed tree mech in it. Uh, Keesler Engineering makes a conversion kit, and I put that in a few years ago. Right. And uh, this car was originally an automatic with a 308 gear. That's a 373 with this Tremec five-speed in it. Right. The big one. That's very cool. Well, yeah. I'm sure you kept the original one, though. I did. Yeah. I've got all the original parts for this car. Right. Everything. Man, it's nice. <laughs> a lot of fun. This car. Where are you are? Always a Pontiac fan. No, I was. I started in '71. The Trans Am did it for me. Uh, when they came out in 70 and I had to have one and, and then I heard about the Super Duties coming out after I had my 71 I decided I gotta have that one. Tell me what what did the Super Duty package include? The uh, the engine had no interchangeable parts with a standard 455 Pontiac. The only thing interchangeable was the water pump on it. Block was different with webbing it had dry sump provision in the block. Uh, the heads were like Ram Air 4, round float exhaust, and the only di they were only 8.4 to 1 compression, oh, so okay. it did step it up to about 10.5 in later years, Right. and put the original, I call it a cheater cam in it, right. that was the original plan for the Super Duty. I gotcha. Did they do anything different with suspension and things like that? The Trans Ams were all uh, the best suspension, the biggest sway bars. Uh, front and rear springs, everything was set up for handling. They were very neutral, uh, neutral handling, easy to power out, right. keep it neutral. Right. No, they're nice cars. I'm a big fan, like I'm a big Trans Am fan myself. Man, I can't believe they only made 252 of these. Let's see under the hood, do you mind? Not at all. They, uh, they have a sticker on the valve cover about rod setting from the factory. It's right in front there. And there's another one in the back there. Uh, it also says by oil usage. <laughs> what? Yeah, the rod bolts. <laughs> they must have, they want to make sure you maintain this thing, right? Yes. It'd be easy to detonate it if you didn't. Is this, is this rubber? Yes. That is That's just about when it was starting to come out. They, I think they had it in the late 60s on GPOs. Okay. Called Endura. Right. Oh, what a cool car. I really like it. And I can't believe there's one here. And I didn't, I, I mean, I knew about the Super Duties, but I didn't realize they were as rare as they were until, like I said, a couple weeks ago, one went through uh, Barrett Jackson, guys. The 74 went through at 100 grand. So no telling what Steve's car is worth. Because everything on this is numbers. How many miles is on it? 116,000. No kidding. Yeah, 40 years. You've enjoyed it though. I have. And you know, you're not the guy standing here going 40 years old, 1,400 miles yeah. on it, right? No, we first five years it was a year-round car. 
Really? And uh, the back seat, my three little kids could fit in there. I had a custom back seat made so they could all fit. And to this day, women that are, say, 5'7", can ride in the back and not hit their head. How so. cool is that? People are just going to love you and your car, Steve, because a lot of them despise the trailer queens. They like yeah. ones that you get out and drive. Yeah. And this is a car that could be confused as a trailer queen, but yet it's got 116,000 miles on it. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Steve, yep. I appreciate you coming out, brother. Thanks so much for bringing the car. Well, thank you for having me, Scotty. I no enjoyed problem. it. Great meeting you. Thank you so much. Good meeting.